What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 16.3 and lower for all devices. It looks like SSH has been achieved on all devices thanks to a brand new exploit. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, bypass activation and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So a couple of days ago this security researcher working for Alibaba posted this quote, you shall not pass star 2. So not a lot of information is given here but a picture was also posted which is worth a thousand words. If you check it out in here it appears that they connect via SSH to a device to an iPhone which appears to run iOS 16.3. The Darwin kernel version also confirms that it is indeed an iPhone running iOS 16.3. So as you can see it's iPhone 15.2 in there. So yeah they were able to actually get SSH fully running on this device. So this means that they have a proper exploit working on iOS 16.3. At the moment there is no public exploit available for iOS 16.3 or 16.2 which means that it's very likely this person has a zero day or an exploit they've created that is not currently published and it hasn't been patched by Apple yet. iOS 16.3 is still currently signed but iOS 16.3.1 is currently the latest version available. So if they decide to release this exploit I expect this would be released after iOS 16.3 is no longer signed. Because right Right now this affects the latest version available but being able to have full SSH on newer devices like iPhone 12 and 13 and stuff like that on iOS 16.3 that's awesome. It means that the exploit is indeed very powerful. They also mentioned this bootstrap.tar is a copy from Fugu15 and makes some fix up like drop beer logging issue and stuff like that. So basically they took the Fugu15 bootstrap in here containing all the binaries like drop beer and you know the shell and whatever those are actually good because Fugu 15 works on iOS 15 and the binaries in there are relatively new so they would work fine on iOS 16 but since they mention bootstrap.tar it also means that their exploit is powerful enough to drop the bootstrap onto the device and run those binaries which means we're dealing with a very powerful exploit. No information whatsoever is given about this exploit at the moment other than this picture posted by the security researcher but the picture says a lot having SSH is already very far towards a jailbreak because it requires a proper kernel exploit with read and write primitives. So yeah if you're running iOS 16.3 do not update to 16.3.1 it's probably a bad idea because 16.3 is supported by this. I will keep you informed with any developments about this but for now it looks like it's a very powerful kernel exploit that might get released in the future and it might result in a jailbreak. Thank you for watching I'm GF Snow. peace out.